It's Trinity's first group match in the AB Sundex 1895 Cup and a chance for Darrell Powell's side to take a giant step towards him in a Wembley appearance at the final which will take place on the 7th of June. But it's a very determined York side that must first be defeated. There are seven debutants for Trinity in a much changed side from the one we watched last season. Welcome from ETC and cameraman Andy Davies. Happy birthday to our scrum half Mason Lena who turns 30. Full side for Trinity as Max Joyce at fullback. Jerry McGilvery, Ian Thornley, Ollie Pratt and Lachlan Walmsley. Luke Gale and Mason Lena at half back and in the pack it's Josh Bowden, Liam Hood, Renault for Tony, Maddie Ashurst, Josh Griffin and Jay Pitts and it's a long time. In fact I don't think I can remember that uh, Trinity have fielded the first 13 numbered 1 to 13. On the bench Caleb O'Ele. Matthew Coza, Toby Boothroyd and Tommy Doyle, 18th man is Miles Lawford. The visit the home side York Knights have Joe Brown at fullback, Miles Harrison, Jesse D, the experienced Jimmy Kinehorst and AJ Towes, Nicka Williams and Liam Harris at uh, halfback. And in the pack the uh, experienced Akuma Tai, the former Huddersfield Giant man, the Tongan. Will Job, Connor Fitzsimmons, Ollie Field, the son of Trinity's academy coach, Jamie. Connor Bailey and Jordan Thompson complete uh, Andy Henderson starting 13. And on the bench it's Jack Teenby, Brendan Sante, Taylor Pemberton and Harvey Reynolds. Andy Henderson is, as I say, the coach and the referee is Scott Mikulowskis. Start of the season here at York and in many grounds. We remember those that we've lost. So we're going to have a minute silence for those people who unfortunately cannot be with us anymore. A good following of Trinity fans have come across to York to the uh, LNER Community Stadium. Packed across to our right, giving their favourite players a cheer. Sold well over a thousand tickets. So Trinity playing from right to left. Last on the whistle from Scott Mikulowskis. That's a that's swirling back towards the York team. Well, that's a shocking bounce for Trinity. Nobody's cleaned it up. About three knock-ons. Jimmy Kynos thought he was going under the post. He's now 33, much travelled and played uh, on loan at Trinity in 2014. That's at least 10 years ago, isn't it? Scrum down, birthday boy Lino to feed the scrum. McGilvery's first touch. Okay, he played in the friendly last week. Heritage number 1,450. I know some viewers like to hear about the heritage numbers, which means that McGilvery is the 1,450th player to wear a first team jersey. And it goes without saying that. Uh, Thorn is 1451 and Lachlan Walms is 1452. The subs will tell you about as and when they come on. Josh Bowden crosses the 30 metre line under a three man tackle. And Hudson acting up. I get hinted to come left, goes right, inside ball to Griffin. 
Hey, what about that quick tap against Wigan? Wasn't that brilliant last weekend? Pitt's playing tight again. Right on the halfway line. Goes a couple of metres backwards on the last tackle. First set completed for Trinity. And the Lino kick. Taken by Joe Brown wearing number two. There's no Will Dagger. He scored a hat-trick in York's first 1895 group match against Newcastle Thunder, who, of course, we take on in a couple of weeks. That's to be played at the Featherston Rovers Millennium Stadium. A Tony defending, along with Hood and Bowden. And Ollie Pratt's in defending. He came to York on loan last year. Play scored six tries in eleven appearances, did Ollie. Max Jarrett is to turn and chase. Brings it back onto the uh, 20 metre line. And Pratt will be attacked in half back. Wormsley's first touch for Trinity. Full back against Wigan. With our half-back partners, Galen Lino is able to move out onto that favoured left wing. With Max Joyt back in his usual spot at fullback. A Tony crosses the halfway line. Good drive from the big man. At about 15 metres. Hood brings it left with Gale. Jowett into the line. Two on one. Gives it to Lachlan Walms. He kicks it inside. Gale, will he reach it? Gale with the first try. Luke Gale points into the air. My watch we've played just across the three minute marker. Quick passing from right to left. Jarrett into the line. Pratt did well to release Walmsley. Walmsley with the kick inside. And there was half back Luke Gale. He's been struggling of late with a calf injury. Showed pace to gather the ball. Sponsored by Maureen Fleming. 4-0 kick to come. Inch perfect kick from Walmsley. The fans are happy. Good early start for Trinity. <laughs> Andy just, I can hear what Andy's saying by the way if you're wondering what I'm going to say he's just saying that according to the fans we're going to Wembley, it'd be nice wouldn't it Max Jarrett's about what 18 or so metres in from this left touchline side Kicked well against Wigan. And starts off well here at York to convert the Luke Gale try. Sponsored by Beat Autism. Trinity have an early lead over the York Knights at six points to nil. Skipper Harris ready to restart. With another high swirler. Lachlan Wormsley gathers on the full. McGilvery to the right. He goes that way to Jerry McGilvery. Said in the interview we did during the week, he's happy to take the, uh, the team forward. Then he'll score the tries. He didn't say that, I'm saying it. Pitts plays the ball and Hood brings it back to the left with Skipper Ashurst. Short side again and then Liam Wood takes it back to Bowden. Centre field for the big front row forward on the 30 metre line. Centre field, Hood's got the options, he brings it left again to Gay, a little chip over. Taken on the full by Miles Harrison. Put to ground about three metres from his own goal line. 
AJ Towers is in from his wing, the 20 year old. Keep on sight, Trinity. Done it from Jordan Thompson. Jewett acting half back. A coma tie. Turns back to the opposition. Doesn't quite reach the 30 metre line. Last tackle. Deep come from Nicole Williams. Good defensive line from York. Prevent Walmsley reaching the halfway line. And this is Luke Gaylord acting half back. Here comes Ollie Pratt. And the offload to Liam Hood, who was going in and acting halfback. McGilver is turned to drive across the halfway line by a good 10 metres. Short side with Lee now. A little skip. The dummy. Then the offload. Griffin goes to ground very close to the far touchline side. And Lee knows first receiver. A Tony. Beats the first line of defenders. He started well this season as a Tony. Quick play the ball. Come on. Short side with Lino. Over the head pass, McGilvery. In at the right corner, stepped inside the defenders. Referee just has a word with the touch judge. McGilvery's first try for Trinity, other than the three and in the friendly, of course. Try comes on the eighth minute. 10 0, double figures, kick to come. Looking for a sponsor is Jerry McGilvery. Quick hands left to right. Lino was involved on both occasions when they went short side. More difficult kick this one for Max Jowett. As I say, he's only about a metre from the... Uh, Far touchline side. McGilvery, I was thinking he might have just gone for him low and hard in the corner, but he stepped inside the York defenders. He's a very unassuming sort of a guy, is Jerry McGilvery, isn't he? Let's see what the swirling wind can do to this one. It hits the post, it goes over from the woodwork. Well done, Max. He'll tell you that he aimed at the post. 12 0 Trinity Lead, sponsored by Beat Autism, Max Jowett. So for the third time, Liam Harris gets the game back underway. He's gone a bit deeper this time. Big drive from Josh Bowden. Matty Ashers finds Renault for Tony. Struggles to play the ball. Lino again looking for Griffin, side to Griffin. Ten short of the halfway line. Pitch dummies. Put to ground right on the uh, on the centre spot. Or is it a centre cross? Somebody will tell me. Maddie Ashers across the ten. Luke Gale goes high again. And again, wingman Miles Harrison takes it well. Now then, the referee seems something off the ball, has he? He's dropped the ball. Oh, he's given an obstruction. He's given an obstruction penalty to Trinity. Oh, that's a bit harsh. That is a bit harsh. 
indicates that there was a shoulder charge. Well, there we go. Trinity are going to run it, and why wouldn't you? Leading 12 0 on the. Uh, well, we're in the 12th minute. Not happy. Bit pedantic that uh, Mr. Mikulowskis for me, anyway. Again, Josh Moden across the 10 metre line. Now he's only five from the post. I won't say it, Liam Hood. Short ball, Griffin. Try Josh Griffin. Half backs, Gale and Lino complimenting each other there and congratulating each other. 12 gone on my watch. Trinity have hit 16 with three tries and a kick to come. Josh Griffin sponsored by M&M &M Engineering. Perfect drive coming in on the angle. Gale and Lino involved. Josh Griffin, the try scorer. Physio just having a look at Griff or having a word with him. I was carrying a knock a couple of weeks ago, it was just Griffin. Looked all right when I came on at that ball, was in there like a steam train. About 10 metres to the right hand side of the uprights. Easiest kick of the afternoon for Jowie. Jowett makes it three from three conversions again and sponsored by Beat Autism 18 0. Liam Harris again, this time he's going across to the left. Try scorer Griffin is it that takes the drive. Ian Thornley's coming from that far right centre. No, it's not gone to Thornley, it's gone to his winger, McGilbury. Don't think Thornley's had a touch yet, has he? He's coming on the next one. Much travelled Ian Thornley. I always like to say formerly of Wigan. Of course, it's, uh, he missed the Wigan game, didn't he? He played half a game at Leeds and he had that shoulder injury. Josh Bolden's working hard. Pitts drives. He's enjoying playing tight in the middle, isn't he, Pitts? Eh? Gale bringing it back to this left-hand side. Pullback Brown comes forward and takes it well before losing his footing. Scruffy from Lino at the tackle. No way through for Jimmy Kynost. Oh, was that an upend? No, referee Mikulowski's allows play to go on. Oh, you could hear them go in at that tackle, couldn't you? Tony, Hood, and Pitts is at the bottom. Penalty Trinity. Oh, it seemed a bit unfair again. <laughs> hey, I tell you what, Andy, trailing 18-0. After 15 minutes and you're giving silly penalties away. No, well, that's according to the referee. I think we're running it from there rather than putting it into touch. We are. Ashurst. Jesse D went low. The centre. Gale. Pitts again. He's getting through a lot of work. Pitts and uh, Atone and Bowden have... The worker boys in the middle. Hood away from acting half back. This is Lino. Jow into the line. Thornley put to ground on the 10 metre line again. Very close to the far touchline side. McGilvery wants one on his own. Not this time, Jerry. Good defence, York.
Lino, short pass to Tony, last tackle. Lino to the right, Gale to the left. Comes this way to Luke Gale. Jout into the line. Oh, Ollie Pratt lost his footing. No worries. Keeping the ball alive. Just lost his footing as he went uh, to take the ball. Right, keep him here, Trinity. Harrison, the winger. Bowden and Pitts, the two Trinity defenders. Hood went low. Copy book tackle from Liam Hood. Trinity subs warming up on the far touchline side. Bundling the York player back towards the 10 metre line. And again, it's cracking defence from Trinity. Thompson. Pokes his nose through the gap, but Hood, uh, Gale rather, it was a number six upside down. And Ashes. Well taken, Max Jowett. But a good line of York defenders. The tone is blowing, he's walking back. Man, she saw Josh Bowden and Liam Hood. Holly Pratt. Three York defenders. Thompson, Job, and Field. Oh, that wasn't the best of passes from Renault for Tony. It's going to be a knock on, it's going to be York heading ball. Joe Brown, the York fullback, has to fetch the ball, which is about 15 metres in the Trinity half. Williams to feed the scrum. Jub at the base. Brings it to the right. Scrum half and skipper Harris. Deard acting half back. Connor Bailey. Ex Trinity. Five matches in 20, 2020 and 2021. Connor Bailey as a youngster. Thompson with the jink and then the offload. Running it from right to left, York, they've got possession inside the Trinity half and I've not said that many times, have I? Akuma Tai's being replaced by Brandon Santi for York. Early replacement, 20th minute. Ooh, we felt that, did the scrum half, Liam Harris. Formerly of Hulk Aaron Hull. Kick from Williams, straight on the first bounce into the hands of the waiting Jerry McGilvery. Lino had acting halfback. Thornley's come round to take the first drive. Good defence from, from York. Jowett first receiver. Oh, and then the offload to Lachlan and Wormsley. Ashurst through the gap. Good play from the skipper. Pratt is going to settle the ball in. No, he doesn't. He offloads Salino and then the dummy. Back towards the halfway line. Who takes it right to Pitts? Ten metres inside the York half and on the last tackle. Lino puts it high. Brown gathers at the back. But look at the Trinity line. There's only Pitts and Lino missing from it. York made it ready to make their second change. Still no changes for Trinity. This lad looks for work, doesn't he? Miles Harrison. Ball lost, 
Play on, Trinity in possession. This is Luke Gale. Pratt pushes away one. Takes it into the big boys. One of which is uh, Jack Teenby. Team be very quickly into the action. Two tackles in two. Hood finds Gale Jowett with a cutout pass. Walmsley. Dummies to go inside. Dice for the line. Try Trinity. Fourth of the afternoon. We're in the 22nd minute. I thought Walmsley, uh, Walmsley was looking inside for support. Decided to take the opposition on. Quite rightly so. And as I say, scores Trinity's fourth try. And they now lead 22 points to nil. Point a minute for Trinity. Very close to this near touchline side, but managed to stay in the field of play. Caleb Uel is ready to come on. Now who's he going to replace? Josh Bowden's worked hard, so has Renio for, Renio for Tony. We'll see. And again, a good round of applause from the Trinity following. Perfect shot of this one, haven't we? Mind that crisp packet, Andy. Have you got that in view? <laughs> Easy peasy, Max Jowett. Wowzers. Straight between the uprights. Four from four, 24 nil. Sponsored by Beat Autism. Lachlan Walmsley, by the way, is looking for a sponsor. There are a number of Trinity players who haven't got sponsors yet. McGilvery, Thornley, Walmsley. Mason Lino hasn't got a sponsor, neither has Josh Bowden. Always oh, put his foot in touch. Head and ball, York. It was Josh Griffin, instead of catching the ball with his foot across the line, he catches it, goes into touch. So it's a restart for York, right underneath the Trinity post. Will Jubbard acting half back brings it to the right. Connor Bailey drives hard, but then he loses two or three metres with a good tackling from Uela uh, and Ashurst. Inside ball to Brendan Sante, the Australian. Jump takes it left to Thompson. Whoop, that wasn't the best of passes for Williams, and he just hesitated. Penalty York, head high. According to referee Scott Michalowskis, they'll surely run the ball. They've got to do, haven't they? Will Jubb just looking for some instructions, perhaps, as to which way we're going. Perhaps he should have been dictating. Ooh, Liam Hood felt that drive from Joe, Jack Teamby. Keep him out, Trinity. Williams. Joe, it's a chance in this right corner. Holly Pratt did well, good defence Pratt. So at times like this when you're leading 24-0 the defence is just as important. Williams shows the dummy, it was a three on two for York. Didn't take the advantage. Will Jubber acting half it brings it back to the right for Team B again. He's taking another drive in this set of six, very close to the Trinity line. Then fans have got a good 
a good view of this defending. Joe goal, show and goal from acting half back. He's held up, is he? He's not, he's short of the line and held up. Harris wants it deep and then the kick. Too deep, is it? Max allows the ball to go across the dead ball line. Restart, tap 20, seven, a seven set, seven tackle set. And as we mentioned last week, the 20 metre line and the 40 metre lines are now in red. Thornley down that short side from the Lino pass. 27 minutes on my watch, just the one change for Trinity. Griffin, one of Trinity's try scorers, tries to make progression towards the halfway line. Three man tackle. Whaley with his first touch across the halfway line. Missing out of Tony finds Pitts. This is Gale short ball Ashurst. Again, it's Keane defending from uh, from York. Not playing the ball correctly, you've got to keep concentration. Turnover, York in possession. Thumbs up, physio having a word with Renault for Tony. Williams finds field, standing wide the back row forward. Going short, going blind side again. With Jimmy Kynost. Yeah. He's last putting himself about, isn't he? The substitute, Teenby. Scottish international, and I can see why. That's good defence from Moele. Thompson won't get beyond Gale and Ashurst. And it's the last tackle, 30 metres out. Short side, kick over from Harris. Certainly uh, playing against the wind, York. Ball stolen by the York player. Now the nose, nose was the first knock on. Did it come off the York hand, or did it come off the? I think it came off the Trinity hand. Referee is going to give head and ball to uh, to York. It has. Matthew Cota is ready to come on. Probably a Renault for Tony. Then there's just Toby Boothroyd, the 20 year old, to show. Caleb Uwele is heritage number 1453. Williams. Penalty York. Well, he's trying as a referee, isn't he? I think he's wanting the Trinity players to roll away a little bit quicker. Job with the restart, Team B again. He's about a metre from the Trinity line. It's deep to Williams. Driving it hard is Jesse D from the Liam Harris pass. Liam Hood's defending well as well. So is Pitts. Text Brendan Sante out with ease. Whoop, three on two, is it? Good defence, Trinity again. Important to keep them out. They won't want the, they want the line breaking. Williams puts a grubber kick in. York try. First knock on, is it? We can breathe a sigh of relief. Head and ball. He's given head and ball to York. So he must have knocked on, so I didn't allow. Oh, the York player knocked on after him, didn't he? After the Trinity player. 31 minutes on my watch, 24 0.
Matthew Coates is still waiting to come on. Williams. Full back into the line. AJ Towes. He's only 20. He's played over 50 matches as Towes for York. It's not bad going, is it? Not going to tell you who that is. You probably know. Yes, it was uh, Jack Teenby. Short pass to substitute Santi. Again, he's, he's got his, his right shoulder must be on the Trinity line. Whoop, dummy from Job goes 360. Good defensive stint this from Trinity. Held up over the line, so bring the ball back onto the 10 to play it. Thompson takes the drive. High fives all around from the Trinity players because it was the last tackle, evidently. Wormsley's gone inside Trinity's last try score and he'll take the first drive. Oh, that's high. Not according to the referee. Trinity's wingers were doing the hard graft. First Wormsley, now it's McGill Ray. Looks for the quick play of the ball. Good run, Thornley. Coats are on for a Tony and he takes his first touch and he drives on the, onto and then loses the ball on the halfway line. Had the ball stolen by Connor Bailey. Penalty Trinity right on the halfway line. Walmsley just having a little bit of treatment down to the right. I think he's taking another on the nose. He took one at Eddingley, didn't he? Gale finds touch, makes about four metres. So we've just got Toby Boothroyd to say, and there are on my watch just over six minutes before the break. Griffin with the drive onto the 30. Oh no, sorry, we've got Tommy Doyle. Tommy Doyle still to see. Uela. Big unit, crosses the 20, centre field. Hudders just had a sneaky look to his right. He goes that way to Lino. Cut out past the McGilvery who traps the ball. Referee touch just says play on, he trapped him. Picked it up cleanly, 10 out. Griffin, Lino, Pitts. Team became in, but then he shrugged away the tackle, did Pitts here. Shows the dummies on the 10 metre line. Hood down the short side, he fancies one on his own, does Liam Hood. He offloads the ball, but he, he was a bit wasted, was that Liam, I'm afraid. First mistake, I think, from Trinity's Liam Hood. Gives the possession to the opposition, albeit in their own ten. Now we've got to defend. And then we go offside. Penalty York, relieving kick. And for the Heritage number enthusiast, Matthew Coulter is 1,454. Lee Robinson does a great job for Trinity Heritage. Taylor Pemberton's on for York. His replaced hooker will jump like for like. Rolling him over in the tackle. Oela and Pitts. Oela says, What me, sir? Yep, penalty York inside the Trinity half. Pemberton with the restart. Thompson with the offload to Harris. No way through for Connor Bailey. Inside ball from Harris. Good defence Trinity again. I think it's Kosa and Nuela. Thompson this time with a short pass to Team B. Well, I've said it before, but come on, keep him out. 
Field, close to the line, held up, put, put to ground, what is it, about four metres short. Williams, Thompson fancies one on his own. No way through, last tackle. Where's the kickers? Williams had brought it to the right. The New Zealander, Williams, puts the grubber kick in. Max Jout's got it covered. Allows the ball eventually to go across the dead ball line. It's an obstruction in the Trinity ranks. It's a penalty, York. And another set of six to defend. Ian Thorne has been receiving a little bit of treatment on the far side. Thumbs up from the physiotherapist. Pemberton with the tap. Santi with the drive. Back to the right with Harris. That's gone to ground. Knock on York. Second, was it second, third tackle? Physiotherapist having a word with Liam Hood, or is it Jay Pitts, or both of them? Luke Gale to feed the scrum. I think he got, he got a little knock from the York man. The open side prop forward. But McGill with the drive. Well, we've had to defend, but now we've got the ball, albeit inside our own 30. Thornley. Still going in, Thornley, onto the 30 metre line. Inside the final two minutes on my watch, Liam Hood goes back to the right with Griffin. Pitts inside ball, Ueli. No, it's not, it's Koza. Quick play the ball from the former Featherstone man. Here comes Ueli. Last tackle. Wow, those six have gone quick, haven't they? Running it, Trinity. Gail didn't know whether to stick or twist. Eventually stuck and the tackle's made and it's the turnover. Last minute of my, my watch. And Miles Harrison puts his hand up again and says, I'll take the drive into three Trinity defenders. Short side with Field. Not letting up on the defending Trinity, as you would hope and as you would expect. Ollie Pratt goes into help the forwards. Harris looking for the runners. Team is almost through the gap. It was Coulter who went low. Williams runs and the offload. Full back Brown into the line. No stoppage time whatsoever. Exactly 40 minutes and one second on my watch. Thoroughly professional first half for Trinity. Particularly in the opening quarter. As early as the third minute Luke Gale went in for a try. Pratt and Walmsley worked it well down the left side and it was a beautiful inside kick from Walmsley. Then on eight minutes, quick hand saw Jerry McGilvery score in the far right hand corner. Gale and Leno involved saw Griffin score. And then Lachlan Walmsley hesitated at first then went in low and hard for a try in this left corner. And all four were converted by Max Jowett from fullback two from the touchline side. It's half time here at the LNAR Community Stadium. The AB Sundex 1895 Cup group match sees it York Knights nil, Trinity 24. Just a reminder, of course, that next Saturday. Trinity go to Sidall in the Challenge Cup. 
Don't quite know what to expect when we go across there, Andy and myself. We're told there's a, a platform, a wooden platform that we can record from, so hopefully we'll be bringing you all the action. Max Joy to get the second half underway. And York to bring the ball away from their own goal line. Backing out the instructions from the back, Max Jowett. And in this half, Trinity playing towards a packed seated accommodation away to our right, which is full of Trinity fans who've travelled to York. Pemberton has replaced Jubb just before the half time. Houghton is at acting half back. Field with a skip. Not going to get past Ian, Ian Thornley, is he? be almost onto the halfway line. Upending, I think. No signal from referee Scott Michalowskis just yet. In fact, no signal at all. Had his finds touch on the far side. And you will start this set inside the Trinity 40. Had his finds Thompson moving it wide to Williams. Field again, Ollie Field. 30 out from the Trinity line, Pemberton and acting halfback. Goes right to Thompson, then the dummy. Still going, Thompson. Former Cass. Hull and Lee forward, of course, John Thompson. Ten metres out, Teen B. Goes to ground eventually, after he makes another couple of metres on one leg. Short pass, Santi. Held up in the in-goal area, good defence, Trinity. And again, he'll have to bring the ball back onto the ten metre line, give him a little bit more uh, freedom. Santi to play the ball, Pemberton and acting halfback. Harris first receiver. Numbers inside, takes it wide to Williams. Losing the ball, Thornley picks up, gets the ball to Jowett. Who had visions of Max Jowett going about 80 metres? Well done, Ian Thornley. McGilvery's turn to drive. Right, come on, let's score some points in front of those travelling fans. Hooded acting halfback, you early first receiver. Turns his right shoulder into the tackle. But Santi did well, he went low. This is Pitts. Dummies inside. Good defence again from York. Coulter falls to the Santi tackle. Back to one, first set restart of the game. Lino with the jink. Oh, he pokes his nose through the gap, does Lino? Griffin was to his right, but Lino was going left. Kozer again. Oh, that looked a bit high. About 12 metres out, centre field. Liam Hood's got the options. He goes left to Pitts, brings it back into the heavy traffic. That's high again. Another set of six, surely, for the high tackle. Pitts is OK. Luke Gale backing out the instructions, telling Trinity's players what they want. Right, Opus sound up for the first one. Matthew Coase, the Frenchman does. Inside to Ole, Oele. On his back, Caleb Oele. He scored a try. <laughs> Referee's happy. Thought he was tackled. Turned his back to the opposition, did Caleb Oele. Sponsored by Squad Builder. And as early as the fourth minute in the second half, Trinity extended the lead to 28 points to nil with a kick to come and the fifth try of the afternoon. Caleb Uwele, the scorer. Good effort from the uh, front row forward.
Max Jai just to the left of the uprights. The fans behind the post knew that was a try, didn't they? But a better view than we have. Oh, he's not happy, Max. Here we go again. About 12 metres to the left. Sixth conversion to the sixth try of the afternoon from uh, Max Jowett, sponsored by Beat Autism and Trinity Lead York Knights by 30 points to nil. Liam Harris again with the restart, goes deep. Should be Mason Lee knows the birthday boy, gathers it. Whoops, who was that that's lost the foot in? Kosa. Wrong stud selection, Griffin. Pitts runs it again hard, makes 10 metres. Hood quickly in an acting half -back. Short side with Luke Gale. Ashurst tries to come inside. Was it a high tackle? The Trinity fans think so. Scott Michalowski because the referee. He's the one that matters and he doesn't think so. Lino, Griffin, Thornley, McGilvery's got to come inside. Thornley did well. Catch an offload all in one movement. Now Thornley finds himself an acting half -back and McGilvery loses half his shirt. He goes high, does Lino. York clean it up. There is a strong wind, isn't there? I think Lino's guilty of a high tackle here. He knows it. York will restart 35 metres or so from their own line with Jimmy Kynos taking the drive. Thornley does well again with a good tackle. Upper body, man and ball. Pemberton finds Williams, this is Sante. I think one of Daryl Powell's messages at half time will be keep him out, keep that score line at nil. Thompson's doing big minutes. Just inside the Trinity half. Pemberton back to the left with Teen B. Williams looking for the runners. Full back Brown into the line. Lino pens him. He drunk footed Lino. Lino did well. Last tackle. Williams with ball in hand. Is he going to cross field kick? He is. Taken well by Harris, and remember it's the last tackle. Trying to keep it alive. Trinity kill the ball, Trinity in possession, albeit about 15 metres from their own goal line. Caleb Uele having a chat with their physio. Thumbs up. Somebody shouts off sight, sir. McGilvery's lost the ball, no he hasn't, he's had it stolen. Penalty counts well in favour of Trinity, but hey, only if the message is we've got to do something to slow them down. Toby both Roy ready to come on, as Max Jack finds touch. 10 metres short of the halfway line. Griffin with the first drive. Struggles to get to his feet. Pitts has worked hard. Pitts still going. 
good 15 metres from the veteran forward. I'm sure he won't mind me saying that. Kosa with the offload to Gale. Now it's Matty Ashurst. Across the 30 metre line. Good build up this from Trinity. Let's finish it. Leading 30 nil. 10 minutes played in the second period. Uela finds Kosa, the dummy. Gale wants him across to the left. He's screaming for the players to go left. That's the way Hood goes. Short ball, Uela again. He's scored one. He wants a brace. And it's the last tackle short side. Oh, dummy from Luke Gale. Turnover, but hey, it's only about two metres from the York line. Not a bad place to turn the ball over, is it? Miles Harrison again. Oh, that's high, is it? Back across the goal line. Great defence from Trinity. Goal line drop out, York. High fives all round for the Trinity defenders. And the chance of Wakefield, Wakefield from the packed crowd at the back of the post. Tommy Doyle now ready to come on. Tommy Doyle on for uh, Liam Hood. One thousand four hundred and fifty-five heritage number, because although Toby Boothwood was ready, he didn't come on, did he? No, I can't see him. Awela with the drive back across the thirty. Still going, he's a big fella. Well played, Liam Hood. He's had a good stint. This is Coates uh, to within ten. Good build up. This that's only the second tackle in this set of six. Tommy Doyle had acting half back, like for like swap. Gale finds Pitts. Nine out. Tommy Doyle's looking for a gap, is he? Lee Coates uh, as he reached the line, he's not just quite not quite there. Gale Jowett. Walms waiting at the left corner for his second try. Oh, he's not gone into the corner. He's had the audacity to pretend to put the ball down and come right round almost under the post. Abrasive tries for Lachlan Walmsley. Still looking for a sponsor. 34 points to nil with a try to come. Trinity, six of the afternoon. Good play. Jow it into the line. Quick hands. Announcer saying it were number one, it were Lachlan Walmsley, surely. Well, we know that, don't we? Jay Pitts going and taking a well earned rest. And here comes Toby Boothroyd, and just to complete those heritage numbers 1456. Well done, Lee Robinson, for keeping those going. And well played, Joe, Leo, Jay Pitts. He's just kicked one from here, as Max. Kicks it sixth, it's 36 nil. Gone low this time as Harris. Oh, it bounced kindly for Leno. And here comes Toby Boothroyd. He's run well in the two friendlies against Leeds and Wigan. Still only 20. Looking for support, Cole, sir. Reaching the halfway line. 
well nearly Tommy Dell down the left side with Gale Jow into the line again Oli Pratt Oli Pratt still going oh I wish he could score played here last year as I said earlier long long ball Gale has to reach and then the kick's meant for McGillery not the right oh, knock on oh, Griff can't get his feet to the ball first knock on surely is a York, York Knights player Of course, when you're leading 36 Neil Gailey will be saying, well, we could try it, can't we? If it comes off, it comes off, doesn't it? Head and ball, Trinity, right under the post, 10 metres out. Right, what have we got from the scrum? Tommy Doyle's at the base of the scrum. You can see him in the orange boots, the former Bradford Bull and Keith Man. And Luke Gale to feed. Doyle goes left with Lino. The skip again, the dummy inside. As Worms have got in at the corner. Referee says he's lost the ball. Holly Pratt did well to get rid of the ball. York opting for the scrum in the uh, centre of the park, 10 metres from their own line. Or is it that it's a turnover? Santi with the drive, he's worked hard as a substitute. Griffin wasn't letting him pass, was he? So was this guy, Jordan Thompson. A lot of effort from York, but the Trinity defence has been... Well, it's been 100%, hasn't it? Can't fault it. Team B again is another that's impressed me with his effort. Matty Ashes not rolling away from the tackle. Penalty to York. Easy metres. Liam Harris quickly with ball in hand and quickly finds touch. 10 metres inside Trinity's half. Jesse D this time, the centre with the drive. Three Trinity defenders. Doyle, Tommy Doyle stands his ground, the hooker. Matteo Schurst had come in to assist, along with Matthew Coatser. Back to the right for York, with Harris inside ball to Tommy D again. Cook play the ball. Penperton comes left. Good defence, Jerry McGilvery on Jimmy Kynhorst. Connor Fitzsimmons back on. Takes the drive, 10 out. Got to switch on defensively with Trinity, I'm sure they will. Harris. That's gone into touch. That wasn't the best of passes. From fullback Joe Brown after joining the line. Gifting the possession to Trinity, albeit the turnover right on their own 10 metre line. Into the 19th minute of the second half, 36 points to nil. And we mentioned about going to Sidall next week and then we entertain the third team in this group stage of the 1895 Cup. That's the Newcastle Thunder who have opted to bring the tie to West Yorks. We'll be playing at the Millennium Stadium ground at Featherstone. That's in a couple of weeks' time. And again, Andy and myself, TC, will be bringing all the, uh, all the action from that match. Dummy from Tommy Doyle, he's gone through the gap. Can't get past Field, Ollie Field now with his head bandaged. Did well, did Tommy Doyle, saw the gap. Both right with the offload, Koza with the offload. Jow into the line. Ollie Pratt finds Lachlan Walmsley. Kicks inside again, chip forward. Ooh, up penalty, obstruction. <laughs> Penalty York offside. Been crisp passing, hasn't he, all afternoon? 
that's got to be a, a highlight for uh, for the players and the coaching staff. You can hear the effort of the Trinity players as they're going to do the tackling. Both right coach uh, and Uela. Referee says it's gone backwards. Holyfield with a shimmy. Can't get past Matthew Coates uh, or Tommy Doyle or, Ke or Caleb Uela. All three defending yet again. Wonder if we'll see Isaiah Vangana next week in the Challenge Cup. Coach Nello Powell says he wasn't quite ready. He only arrived at the beginning of the week. Oh. Jesse D gets away from the Trinity defenders. It was Oli Pratt. 32 metres out, last tackle for York. Goes high, does Harris. Ooh, Max Dyer allows the ball to bounce. Then he gathers, can he get the ball back into the field of play? No, he can't. Goal line drop out for Trinity, first of the afternoon. Good effort, York. Max is not happy. He wants some attention, does Max Jowe? Does he? No, he's waiting to take the goal line dropout. Into the final quarter on my watch. He must be all right. Almost reaches the halfway line. Fitzsimmons takes the ball back into the heart of the Trinity defenders. Pemberton looks to come left and he goes back to the right with Thompson. Pemberton down the right channel with Skipper Harris. Pemberton's going to be at acting half back about 15 metres out. Goes away from acting half back. Inside ball, Jimmy Kynhorst. End off loads the ball in the tackle to Thompson. Keeping it alive, kick into the corner. Has Jowett got it covered? Well done, Lachlan Walmsley. Punches the ball across the dead ball line. Fleet of foot, Walmsley. Goal line dropout. Josh Bowden ready to come back on. I wonder what those York players think. Trailing 36-0. You look to the touchline side and there's Josh Bowden ready to come on. And it's try scorer Caleb Uela that's been replaced. Will Jubb's back on. Skip from Conor Bailey. And again, I've said it more than once, no way through. Tommy Doyle's defending well. So has Toby Boothroyd. Said it earlier, cracking defence from Trinity. Ooh, that was a bit low. Williams, Holly. Holly Field finds Jimmy Kynhorst. Lino's gone low eventually. Thornley was there to assist. Little and large. Bailey again with a drive to within eight metres. Last tackle, right. One to defend Trinity. Williams, they're running it. York are running it on the last. Interception from Lormsley. Can he go the length? Can he? Not quite. Two tries already, wants the hat trick. 15 minutes on my watch to get it. Fresh from the dugout, Josh Bowden. 
Gaylord acting half back, Lino McGilbray. Doyle brings it right to Ian Thornley. Turns his left shoulder into the tackle. Quick play the ball, short side again with Griffin. Oh, come on, Josh Griffin, come on, move away. Just had a tete-a-tete -tete with Jimmy Kynos, and instead of the turnover, it's a penalty. Game as it is, 36 nil. Don't get involved, Josh. We'll jump to restart, 35 metres out. Oh, I don't think Jordan Thompson knew he was getting that ball. Kosa, Ashurst and both ride the three Trinity defenders. Thompson, Williams, here comes Field. That's good defence from Ian Thornley and it had to be. Short side again from York. Max is offside, Max Jowett. Another set of six right on the Trinity line. 14 minutes on my watch. Jubb finds Williams, this is Bailey, Trinity on the line, got to be on that goal line, back to the short side with Williams, field, again a copybook tackle, this time it's from Mason Lino, short side from Jubb, Kynost, that's again good defence from Lino, upper body, quick play the ball, Williams with the inside ball to Thompson, They're not going to let him score either. Griffin did well. So did Lino. He was there as well. Harris with the inside pass. No way through for Harvey uh, Reynolds. Substitute. Jub away on his own. Bowden defends well along with Tommy Doyle. Six tackle, turnover. McGillery with the first drive and loses the ball. <laughs> and McGillery wants a word with the referee as to say uh, what exactly happened. Excuse me. Sorry about that little cough, Andy. Head and ball, York. 12 metres out, centre field. Harris at first receiver, two on one is it? Wonkley knocks the ball down. Play on, back to one, six more tackles. Reynolds again. Still 12 metres out, right of centre, Jubbard acting half-back. Williams, dummy inside from Holyfield. you will be sick of seeing Ian Thornley, Will Field. Ooh, you can hear it from uh, Conor Fitzsimmons. Nobody there, Jordan Thompson. Still tackles in this set of six for York to breach the Trinity line. Short side. Hold him up, don't let him offload the ball. York try. It's Hooker Will Jubb that scored the York try with just ten minutes on my watch remaining. No more than they deserve with the effort they've put in. Four points to 36 with a kick to come.
They put a lot of effort in. Trinity will be extremely disappointed to leak a try. But they need to bounce back, go up the other end and just finish it off with a couple more themselves. Renault for Tony back on. Liam Hood ready to come back on. Matthew Coatser has gone to the touchline side. Nicole Williams attempting the conversion from 10 metres in from the far touchline side. Waved away from the touch judges, so it remains York Knights 4, Trinity 36. <laughs> Liam Hood replacing Luke Gale, so Hood is going to his second favourite position at standoff half, I would imagine. Well done, Luke Gale. Well done, Matthew Coates. Sir. Jow it to get the game back underway with a deep kick, held up in the wind. Well, let's put pressure on him and get possession. That's good tackling. Toby Bothroy puts himself about, doesn't he? Josh Bolden there, Tommy Doyle there. Seen only 10 metres from the goal line. Short side with Ollie Field. Good defence again. Tommy Doyle and Josh Bowden. Thompson with the offload this time to Skipper Harris and the dummy. Trinity not taking the dummy. Just crossed the 30 metre line as a little fella. Tries to score a jubber acting half but takes it down the short side. Kick from uh, Williams. Trapped by Jowett. Nobody with him. Lachlan Wombs is back now. Walmsley first receiver, Ollie Pratt second. What Lachlan Walmsley acting half back. Little shimmy the dummy, fancied a bit of the action as I say. Brace of tries already, and seven more minutes for him to complete his hat trick. Lino with the big dummy, the short pass, and Pitts will play the ball. He's back on the field, of course. Couple of dummies from Lino. Hood had to reach. Ashurst. Trinity skipper almost reaches the 30 metre line. Be nice for those travelling fans away to our right to witness a couple of final tries, wouldn't it? Lino's going to go high. Harrison on the wing gathers. Run over Tony with a crunching tackle. Kai Norst away from acting half back. Tommy Doyle does a lot of work as well, doesn't he? Short side York. Team be back on for Fitzsimmons. Last tackle just inside the York half. Kick from Harris. Bounces kindly for full back Jowett. I'm sure he's going to look for some support, is he? He's going to find space if he can for Walmsley. He runs hard at the defenders. 36 points to four. Five and a half to go on my watch. Little scoot away from Ollie Pratt. Only Muds is acting half back. Here comes a Tony. Now it's Tommy Doyle. 
Short side with Ashurst. Crosses the halfway line by a good 10 metres. Tony again in this set of six. Bolden with a short pass. Toby Boothroyd onto the 30, right of centre. And on the last tackle, where's the kickers? Lino to the right. Is he going to go high? He is. Josh Bolden, what a tackle. York player eventually gets to his feet, plays the ball. Kainos with the offload, 2-1-1 on one with McGilvery, then he goes back inside. AJ Tows, no way through at all, it just, the alley closed up, but well done Jordan Thompson. Felt that uh, Josh Bowden tackle back on his feet. Chase from the Trinity, followers for the defending. Back on the field, Brendan Santi. York running it in their own 20, well done to them. Bounces kindly for Walmsley, who immediately, immediately feels, feeds Max Jarrett, whose tackles just short the halfway line. Quite a number of Trinity players walking back, and we're in the final four minutes, McGilvery, early try scorer. Back into the York half. Pitzer acting half back. Thornley coming on the drive. Here he comes, Big Ian Thornley. Good 12 metre run onto the 30 metre. I push it wide now. Tommy Doyle. Both ride. Good build up. 20 out. Let's finish on a high. Tommy Doyle to the left with acting with half back. Liam Hood. Jow into the line. This is Ollie Pratt. Tries to go around the York player, can't do so. Eventually the ball goes out of his hands and into touch. He won't be happy with that one, Ollie Pratt. Taking the time to this scrum, my shit, there's only there's less than three minutes on my watch. Good effort from Trinity, particularly crisp handling for some good tries wide out. Big forward Caleb Uela scoring from close in, of course. And good defence overall. Jub down the short side. Olifield, ooh, again, ooh, you could feel it, you could hear it. Tackle from Lino and Pitts. Williams finds Skipper Harris. Brown into the line. Has it gone to ground? It has. Trinity in possession. Holly Pratt stumps, hesitates, goes back to the left. Down that left hand side. That's a high tackle, surely. Liam Hood felt that one. Just entering the final minute. Come on, finish with a try. Liam Hood will take the tap, will he? Oh, he's going to find two. He's now a kicker. He's not only a standoff half, Liam Hood, he's now a kicker. 36 4, let's finish, make it 40. Ashurst. 10 out. Take it back to the left. Tommy Doyle brings it right to Atone. Atone is still going. Scored one like this at Wigan. At home against Wigan, rather. Tommy Doyle, show and go, Tommy. Back to one. Deep ball to Liam Hood. Short pass. Pitts. Can he get the ball down? He's on his back right on the goal line. He's held up, in fact, over the goal line. So once again, he'll bring the ball back onto the 10. Couple of minutes of stoppage time according to the official timekeepers. Lino looking for the runners. Toby Bullrod will drive. Eight out, seven out maybe. And again I'm going to say show and go from Tommy Doyle. 
opening his account for Trinity. Bowden, Hood, Jowett tips it onto Lachlan Wormsley for a hat trick try for the wingman. Three tries to the likeable Australian. Makes it 40 points to four, and as I said earlier, still looking for a sponsor. Seventh try of the afternoon. Right on my watch, the 40th minute. And what about the tip on from uh, Max Jowett? Tip the ball onto the wingman, very little room to work. Not only crossed the line, came round, didn't quite get to the post. So Max Jowett's conversion attempt will be midway between the left post and the far left hand side. Well, a little bit wider out. Now then, the referee's making him take it right back onto the touchline side. I think Lachlan Walmsley must, must, must surely have touched this down. So thanks for joining Andy and myself, TC, as the game drifts into its final stages. Remember, we're at Sidall, the uh, National Conference League side at Sidall. It's near Halifax. The Challenge Cup next Saturday and then the following weekend... Newcastle Knights is back in the 1895 Cup played at Featherstone Jowett has kicked 6 from 6 this to make it 7 from 7 had the cheering the wind's got hold of that it's gone to the left hand side of the uprights and the final hooter goes not too much stoppage time a couple of minutes that's all 24 points nil at the break Trinity led Early try in the second half when Caleb Buela went in from close. Jowett gold and then went to Wake for about 30 minutes or more before Lachlan Walmsley after Jowett sent a beautiful pass to the wingman. He did on that occasion come round towards the post to make the goal kick simpler for Max Jowett. Will Jubb scored a deserved try for, uh, for York on the, uh, on the hour after good effort from the uh, side coach by Andy Henderson. There was no conversion from the boot of Williams but just a final act Lachlan Walmsley with the try, his hat trick try. And the fans are happy, they're chanting away to our right. The fat players will go across, show their appreciation. Good entertainment all round from the Trinity lads. Good defence for the majority of the game. That's a, that's a plus, isn't it? And there the players are. Showing their appreciation to the fans. Thanks for joining Andy and myself, TC. Here at the LNER Community Stadium. It's finished in the 1895 Cup. York Knights 4, Trinity 40. <laughs>